Hello everyone, thank you for coming up today, my old subscribers, thank you. And to those that are viewing for the first time or have not subscribed, please click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. And to my new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. Please do not forget to hit on the like button. It's another sad news again. A lot of us know this particular actor and comedian. It's so sad to hear this morning that the popular American comedian and actor known as Bob Saget is dead. Look at how life can be. This is a guy that was young and healthy and he was even performing over the weekend before this unfortunate incident happened. This particular actor and comedian gained fame on the sitcom Full House and as a host of America's Funniest Home Videos before thoroughly shedding his wholesome image. The news that was actually released is that he was found dead by the police in his hotel room around 4 p.m. on Sunday, that's January 10th, 2022. And he was actually pronounced dead soon afterward. It's so shocking when you hear people pass away in such a mysterious way. But at the same time, the Orange County Sheriff's Office confirmed the news and said that at this time, they have not confirmed the cause of his death and that the police revealed that they didn't find any foul play or drug use. But at the same time, they are going to carry out a proper investigation as to know what really led to his death. This was the news that was released this morning. Early today, deputies were called to the Reed's Catlon Orlando Grand Lakes for a call about an unresponsive man in a hotel room. The man was identified as Robert Saget and pronounced diseased on the scene. The detectives found no signs of foul play or drug use in this case. So this was the information they had to release to the public, that's the Orange County Sheriff, so as to notify the public that nothing like anybody came into his room or either he was drugged or probably he used some substance that all of that has been ruled out for now but they are carrying out further investigation so as to determine the true cause of death it's just so sad to see someone like this healthy and strong and prior to this he just finished a show and then got back to his hotel room and even after he had finished that show he went on Twitter and even made a post on Twitter as soon as he ended the show. He said this, Loved tonight's show in Jacksonville. Appreciative audience. Thanks again to our drill team, Wilkins, for opening. I had no idea I did a two-hour set tonight. I am happy addicted again to this. Check bobsaget.com for my dates in 2022. You can see that he left the show happy and excited and he just posted this as soon as he left the show shortly after that he was now pronounced unresponsive and the next thing he is no more alive it's just so heartbreaking and touching especially to a lot of people that were really close to him it's a great shock and especially to the audience that just saw him hours before this sad incident took place however Robert was in the middle of a stand-up tour, which is called the I Don't Do Negative Tour at the time of this particular horrible incident that took place. It's so, so painful. He even tweeted as recently as early Sunday morning celebrating a show in Jacksonville. It's not a good news for people to hear today. And in a statement that was released, by his own family members they said that they are devastated to confirm that their beloved bob has passed away though they ask for privacy at this time and they invite everyone to join in remembering the love and laughter that bob brought to the world a lot of people knew him for his comic act for the way he made people laugh even in the shows even in his stand-up comedy a lot of people had enjoyed him and so that is what the family is remembering him for you know there is nothing as good as making people laugh especially at this particular time you know a lot of things have gone wrong a lot of things are still happening people need to cheer up 
once in a while while they face the difficulties of the situation in the economy. But it's still heartbreaking to hear that Bob Saget has just lost his life. A little bit about Bob. He was actually born in Philadelphia and began performing stand-up in local clubs before moving to Los Angeles to continue his comedy career. Meanwhile, he appeared in the 1987 Richard Pryor film Critical Condition, but was best known for playing Danny Tenner, the widowed patriarch of the Tenner clan, in the ABC series Full House, which ran from 1987 to 1995. Also, as the keen, freak, aggressive lead type A Tanner, Bob spent eight seasons projecting patriarch warmth, ending each episode by imparting a moral lesson to one of his three daughters alongside a warm hug. And through his performance as Danny Tanner, as well as his role as the host of American's Funniest Home Videos from 1989 to 1997, Rob actually cultivated an image as the wholesome Pater Familias, despite his roots as a stand-up comedian who worked blue for much of his career. It's just so, so painful. In fact, there are lots to talk about his entire career life, how he started. This is just a brief clue about his performance in the industry you know these are people that have impacted in the industry in so many ways they've contributed one way or the other even impacted lives one way or the other he'll be greatly missed by his family members loved ones his audience all those that watched him and followed him up in his episodes and serials a lot of people are heartbroken to get this news today May the soul of Rob Sajet rest in peace with the Lord. May Almighty God console his entire family members, friends, well-wishers, everyone that knew him. May God console them all. It's so difficult to see and hear that this young man has gone. He was only 65 years old. However, he also provided the voice and narration for the elder Ted Mosby in the long-running CBS series, How I Met Your Mother. A role that he held from 2005 to 2014 and was an established director helming the 1998 norm McDonald black comedy Daddy Walk, which flopped at the box office but later amassed cult classics status. It's just so interesting to hear all that he has done, all the movies, all the shows, but in the end, this man has gone and would no longer be seen on the surface of the earth. That is the painful thing about death. Once again, may his soul rest in peace. A lot of tributes have been posted on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook. So many people are in shock and heartbroken with this untimely death. Friends, please, if you have anything to say, you could put that down at the comment section. Thank you for coming up today. Please do not forget to hit on the like button. Also, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. Thank you. God bless you all.